everybody and welcome back to another video. It is like 7 30 in the morning right now. It is a Tuesday and I am about to do my makeup just to get ready because I have a prenatal appointment this morning and we are feeling anxious. I have my like glucose test where they test for like gestational diabetes and you have to drink this like nasty sugary drink and stuff and you have to fast you can't eat and so and then they have to like take your blood on top of that um and I think I've talked about this a little bit in a previous vlog but um I have like a really big fear of needles and um so that's not fun but then also like I'm so hungry right now I've been up for like an hour and a half at this point and I'm just used to like eating breakfast pretty quickly. We're not having the best time this morning, but I am hopeful that maybe um, filming a little bit honestly will like distract me. <laughs> um, that's kind of like my strategy here. But yeah, honestly, yes, I'm feeling anxious about the appointment, but also I have just noticed that my anxiety has kind of been flaring up pretty not like super badly, but definitely flaring up more um, than it has in a while. And I think that there's a few reasons for that. I think one reason is, and I kind of talked about this in my last vlog whenever I was doing like a summer reset, it like always takes me a while to, I feel like re-acclimate to being on break um, specifically like long breaks like summer. If, you, if this is the first video you've ever watched of me, I um, was a middle school math teacher. I'm taking off some time um, to be a stay-at-home mom because we're having our first baby in September. And so that whole transition, I feel like it just takes me a while to reacclimate, figure out my rhythm and things like that. And I think while I am, what I've noticed about myself is if I am having to reacclimate to something um, and I feel like my schedule is very up and down, um, I feel like my emotions and my anxiety kind of follow it. So I'm just like more easily, I don't want to say triggered. I guess like I'm just more on edge right now is what I feel like. And um, that's okay. And that is temporary. So that's like one reason why I feel like maybe it's happening. The other thing is, and I talked about this in like my resigning from teaching video, there is still obviously a lot going on with like my family. And then I think the other reason is honestly, I've just been off of my anxiety medication for a while now. So basically I'm six months pregnant. Um, and right when we found out that we were pregnant, I decided to stop taking my anxiety medication. Even though my midwife has told me like, hey, if things get bad, like, please be honest because you can get back on it. Obviously, I think most people would agree that the le least amount of medications that you can be on while you're pregnant, like the better. Um, but it is like safe for me to take my anxiety medication, um, even while being pregnant. I just preferred to try to stop. Um, and so I think that's also just another part of it is, um, I just haven't been on my medication for a while. And so obviously there's like a shift whenever that happens. Yeah, it's kind of been weird. Like, I kind of had a little bit of a meltdown about this about this um, appointment last night and asked Aaron if he could please work from home today so that I could, like, come home to somebody. He is currently at the gym with a friend because they had already decided that they were going to work out together this morning, which is fine. Um, but he was supposed to go into the office, and I asked him if he could just, like, please work from home so that just in case the appointment goes, like, poorly or I feel just anxious or traumatized afterwards that um that he would be here so he is going to be here today which I really appreciate but I had yeah like a little meltdown about that last night but then like two weeks ago so we just got back from our baby moon and that was so fun um but like the week before we left I like had a full-blown like anxiety attack and it kind of came out of nowhere it really caught me off guard and that like has not happened in a while 
And so I think there's just like a lot of things. Sorry, that was the timer because I'm making some bacon and like a little PB&J to take with me to have after they like do my blood work and everything. But anyways, I had like a full blown anxiety attack that kind of came out of nowhere. I can usually kind of feel them coming on, but this one really just, I don't know, it was so weird. And so all that to say, your girl is feeling a little anxious right now, a little fragile, and that is totally fine. And there's like a lot of change happening in life right now. So I just wanted to be honest and open with you guys about how I'm feeling and maybe somebody else is watching this who struggles also with anxiety or something similar. Um, just know that you're definitely not alone and, um, you just have to do your best to take care of yourself. Other thing that's getting me through this appointment is I've told myself that afterwards I get to go to Starbucks and get whatever I want. Um, so that's exciting, but I'm going to finish doing my makeup and then get myself together and we're going to head to the doctor and it's going to be fine. And the drink that they make you drink is not going to make me throw up. I'm just like... Praying that over myself right now. God, please don't let me throw up from this drink because I have heard that it can definitely make you nauseous because it's just like straight up glucose that you're, they make you chug in like five minutes. We do a little bit of a fit check. Um, I definitely slept in this. So, <laughs> wearing my pajamas. I just don't have, I don't have the energy to do anything else. So, and I do indeed have shorts on for anybody wondering. So, this is the fit. Cute, stylish, yeah. Okay, let's go to the doctor. Okay, you guys, we are off. I packed a almond butter and jelly sandwich on like a, all we had was English muffins and some turkey bacon because they recommend that you bring snacks to have after they do the test. And then this is, this is the guy. Um, and just to add insult to injury, I just brushed my teeth and this is orange flavored. So that'll be great. I'm gonna, actually I'll open it right now. I just have to drink it within five minutes of like starting. So we'll do a little taste test right here on camera. Honestly, I was expecting worse. It could be much worse. So. Thank God for that. I'm gonna chug this while I drive to the doctor, say some prayers on my way there, um, listen to some worship music, and I will check in with you guys afterward. Hello everyone, coming at you from the other side of the big scary doctor's appointment. I just got my Starbucks. So excited. It's so good. I just got the brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso. I feel like everybody is like over this drink. Like nobody talks about it anymore. I'm not over it. I still think it's like one of the best drinks that Starbucks has. So happy it's all over. Um, I already ate like all my snacks and stuff that I brought because, fun fact, my grandma just had surgery at that exact same hospital yesterday. So like I see um, midwives, but they operate out of this hospital. I've explained a little bit about that on like a previous vlog, I think. So she is in like the recovery area um, of that hospital now. So I just walked once I was done at my thing I just walked to the other like building and went and saw her and visited with her for a bit and ate my snacks while I was in there because I was starving and feeling very jittery from the drink and also jittery from just the nerves of the blood work and stuff but I mean I don't know the results of my like test yet um but everything's fine in terms of like I did it. I didn't freak out. I did cry a little bit after the blood work was done and like not even during, just after. And I don't really know why. I think it's just like my body's way of 
decompressing after getting like really worked up but I am really proud of myself and just like the progress I've made with needles because I used to literally like almost pass out every single time and have a full-blown like panic attack and now I'm able to breathe through it and I might cry a little bit afterwards but I don't feel like I'm going to throw up and pass out every single time. I texted Aaron once I was done and he was like you're doing really well with like your exposure therapy um, because that's what it feels like whenever you're pregnant I feel like you have to get a lot of blood work done and so um it does feel a bit like exposure therapy. I probably make a little to-do list whenever I get home of things that I just like feel like doing and want to get done today because it's still been really helpful for me. I talked about it in my last vlog, my summer reset vlog, about how I have started just like taking one day at a time in terms of setting goals instead of like projecting more long term because I think it just works better for my brain and my personality. So. I'm gonna head home, I'm gonna keep sipping on my coffee, and hopefully have a good rest of the day. talk to you you would not know that but it has it's like almost 4 30 in the afternoon right now and I have been busy like deep cleaning our bathrooms and also just trying to organize some of the stuff in our nursery or in the room that will be the nursery um but uh the bathroom is looking literally can't hardly see um, but the bathroom's looking so much better. <laughs> um, I have been meaning to like deep clean our bathrooms for so long. And I feel like before I come up with a rhythm that I want to have or that works well for me, whenever I am fully like in full-time mom mode and staying at home and stuff, which I kind of am already. I just feel like I haven't come up with those rhythms yet because I want to kind of set myself at zero in terms of like deep clean the things that I've been meaning to deep clean and then I can get into a rhythm after that of kind of how to maintain it and things like that. So I know if anybody's wondering, I make my own cleaner. It's literally just water, cast aisle soap, and then whatever essential oils that you like. You don't even have to put essential oil in it if you don't want to. Or you could just get one of the scented cast aisle soaps that already smells like lavender or something. But I just have the unscented one because we also use that to wash Sunday. But I put rosemary oil and lemon oil in it today. And I think it's my favorite one that I've ever done. I've never done that combination before. Um, and I really like it. So highly recommend. But I deep cleaned this bathroom. I deep cleaned our guest bathroom. And then I also, like I said, organized a bunch of stuff from the nursery. And while I was doing that, I like collected a bunch of stuff that's gonna end up going to Goodwill and that needs to be donated. So all of this stuff here is going to Goodwill. This hamper is actually gonna get thrown out um, cause as you can see, it's like broken. There's a wire sticking out of it. But Aaron's literally had that since college. So we have to wait till Thursday though cause that's when like heavy trash gets picked up. I also have a few bags in the nursery that is getting donated. So this is all just stuff from like random closets and our closet um and then i made the bed for the first time ever sunday laid on it immediately after i made it so it looks a little shambly still but and then i'm trying to organize our nightstands and stuff so just ignore those and yeah so we're just like doing a full house reset i feel like i'm just setting everything back to square one and then we'll work on kind of developing some kind of weekly rhythm to maintain it. I think 
at the beginning though it can just be a lot of work because I just haven't had time for the past year basically that we've been living here. I need to check some things off of my little list. I'm really liking making lists every day. So I did clean both bathrooms. I have not finished vacuuming. That's also on the list, but I don't think I'm gonna do that today because Aaron is like in a meeting and stuff and I don't want to like disrupt that. I'm currently making enchiladas for a community group. I have on here workout question mark. I can tell you right now that that is not, actually, you know what? I'm gonna shade that in because I have been up and at it all day. Honestly, we did work out because we've been cleaning a ton. Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early. Well, not super early anymore, 7.30. But I'm actually leaving our church right now. Um, on Wednesday mornings, our church hosts early morning prayer, which is really sweet because in college, the church that I attended also had early morning prayer like once a week. Erin has been really diligent though in coming pretty much every week since they started um, and they started back several months ago and so I obviously couldn't really come during the school year um, because it ran into my like contract time of when I needed to be at school but now I don't really have an excuse and I have been just convicted about my prayer life and wanting to just be more prayerful throughout the day and I think putting in some effort to just like meet with people in the mornings like once a week could be really helpful and just like helping me pray more. I talked a little bit about just like kind of faith struggles that I've had in my faith recently of just feeling disconnected and I do still intend to make a whole video about that so I'm not gonna super go into it but if you're interested in hearing more about that it'll probably be the video after this one so um anyway I'm gonna go home let little Sunday out and probably like water our plants this morning because I have been the worst just like homeowner landscaper garden keeper ever when it comes to that stuff so gonna water our plants because it's been like triple digits during the day here in Texas already and then I think my cousin's gonna come over later <laughs> Hello everyone. I am the worst vlogger ever because it is already a new day. Um, I'm leaving the gym right now. It's like 9.30 in the morning. Also, if you can hear the AC and I feel like it's kind of shaking a little bit because I have the car running. Um, I'm sorry for any AC background noise, but it is summer in Texas. So even at like 9.30 in the morning, it's already getting so hot, like it's ridiculous. Just wanted to say hello. I am gonna try to vlog kind of my day today. I have a couple things that I need to do today. So I am gonna go run home, shower, get ready. And then I need to go run some errands for my grandma. They like moved her to a physical therapy facility that she's actually been at before, but she just needs me to pick up some like clothes and stuff for her from her house. And then I'm gonna go hang out at my friend Rachel's house from church and just hang out with her and her kids today. I have been just like very up and down with my days still, just trying to come up with a good rhythm. I will say making a daily like goal list of things that I want to do has really been helping, but I still feel myself hitting these like really high highs of like productivity and feeling really good and energized and then just absolutely crashing and kind of feeling a little bit more down. And I have found that if I can be around people more and not just by myself at home, I feel like my emotions and my energy levels are a little bit more stabilized. I think that's just like the extrovert in me. So I think that will be, as I'm like figuring out what like stay at home mom life is gonna look like, I think that will be an important thing for me to keep in mind. So that is kind of the plan for today. I have some other things that I obviously kind of wanna do at home and some chores and errands and pr productive things like that that I wanna do today. But um, first I am gonna go run those errands for my grandma and then um, I'm probably gonna go hang out with Rachel right after that. I probably won't film those things just because I'm not gonna put 
other people in a vlog that they did not sign up for. Side note, one of my new favorite things is getting coffee on the way to the gym and then drinking it as I'm working out. Whenever I first did this, I felt really weird about it. Like I thought that people would just think that I was weird. But then I realized like people bring pre-workout or like energy drinks into the gym all the time. And I feel like this is no different. And so um, highly recommend honestly, because I'm obviously not in an energy drink pre-workout era of my life right now being six months pregnant. And so I still do like a cup of coffee a day. Typically I will be kind of coming off of caffeine again though because I'm getting close to my third trimester and so that will end soon but I'm trying to enjoy myself now so pro tip if you like drinking coffee more than you like drinking pre-workout just take it to the gym with you nobody cares <laughs> today because I decided to try like a slicked back look because my hair is still wet and I don't feel like waiting for it to dry before I get on with my day and I know that everybody has been doing the slicked back thing for like months at this point but I have never done it honestly because I just have a really big forehead and just didn't think that it would suit me but now I'm kind of like She's kind of cute. I just like left it in a ponytail and I feel like it's kind of a vibe. Um, if you are also a big forehead girly, um, literally can fit like all five fingers, uh, comment down below if you also have a big forehead. Um, but also just do the hairstyles that you want because honestly, if I can get used to doing this, this could be a game changer for summertime slash mom life, just like licking it back and I feel like it's actually cute if you don't think it's cute um if you could just keep your opinion to yourself that would be really great because like I said this is out of my comfort zone quick little fit check um wearing a dress this is just really old I think it's from old navy um and it still fits thankfully wearing some Birkenstocks I'm aware that they do not match but I do not care but I wasn't feeling like the whole full dress look so I just put this little cropped tank over it so it's more of like a shirt and skirt vibe so that is what we're working with today I decided to go ahead and just like get ready and put in a little bit of effort because the past two days I literally have not changed out of my pajamas all day I just like kept what I slept in on because I was just at home all day doing chores, organizing things, and I was just feeling a little bit blah. And so I figured I'd put in a little bit of effort just to make myself feel a little bit more chipper, a little bit more put together, and I do feel that way. So I think it's working. <laughs> I am gonna go make some lunch really quickly. It's almost 11 o'clock, and then go over to my grandma's house and get going on all the things today. Really quickly, I wanted to share this pasta recipe with y'all that I made last night for dinner. It is so good. Basically, I was craving something creamy, but wanted it to still be pretty healthy. And this is like a creamy tomato sauce and they use cottage cheese to make it creamy and you like blend it all together. It is so good. Like it is going on our normal meal rotation and I just paired it with some chicken meatballs. It was amazing. I will link like the recipe down below. Sorry again for the AC noise in the background, but I just dropped off all the stuff that I needed to to my grandma. And then I pulled into ATB for a few reasons. One, I needed gas. Two, I needed to pee. And three, I had some very random things that I needed to pick up. I figured I would do a really quick, very random ATB haul to show you guys all of the very random things that I needed. Um, the first thing, I got some of this. Um, I do not like using bug spray like this on my actual skin. I actually just like make my own with essential oils and stuff, but whenever you walk into our front, whenever you walk out our front door, there's like a, it's like covered whenever you first walk out. And I swear 
you're just hit with a cloud of mosquitoes, whether you're walking out or if we're coming home and we're coming in, they're just everywhere. So I bought some of this to spray out there to hopefully get rid of a lot of those mosquitoes so that you're not just like attacked the second you step outside. Um, on that note, I got this itch relief stick because my legs are currently covered in mosquito bites. I've decided to fully commit to this licked back hairstyle. So I got one of these brushes just to like kind of help smooth it out. And then the last thing was I was really craving a soda, but obviously I'm housing a human right now in my body. So I'm trying to be a little bit more just like conscious of what I'm putting into my body. So I decided to get an Olipop instead. This is the cream soda flavor, which I have actually never had, but I really like the root beer flavor and I feel like cream soda is just root beer's cousin. Ooh, why is this so hard to open? Oh my gosh, okay. Oh yeah, it's so good. So gonna sip on this head to my friend Rachel's house because I am running a little bit behind. Not that there was like a, a strict schedule or anything. And I will chat with you guys later. Hello. So it has been quite a while. Um, I'm back from my friend's house. It was really fun. We just hung out with her and, or we, I just hung out with her and her kids. She has three kids um, and then she's pregnant with the fourth. Um, so we just hung out and chatted while the kids played and it was really fun. Um, and then I came home, made dinner, Aaron and I already ate. He is about to, um, host an office hour because fun fact, he is a TA, um, for the university that he went to grad school at, um, just for a course, just like as a side gig part-time thing that he really enjoys. But I am in our, what will be the nursery and I figured that I would kind of show you guys an update because it's still very, very much a disaster, but I have organized some things and started cleaning out the closet in here. So I figured I would just kind of show you guys the progress that we have made so far. Okay, so this is how things are looking whenever you first walk in. Like I said, definitely still a disaster, but um, a lot of this over here is just trash from all of the gift bags and stuff. And then I'm going to try to figure out where to put my classroom stuff. I think tonight I'm going to try to find a place for it. I have sorted through some like home decor stuff of like things that I either want to keep or I want to give away. This was like some gift bag stuff that I still need to kind of sort random classroom junk. But over here I have sorted most of our baby stuff. So this is all like toys, teethers, things like that. Here is a bunch of books that we've received. Um, Aaron's aunt, one of them made little cute like party decorations for our gender reveal. And part of them was like made out of little diapers. So I just took all the diapers apart from the like little decoration and put them in this basket. Um, this is like a little play mat that we received and there's a little box of toys under there. And then over here, I have all of the clothes and like blankets and stuff that we've received so far, just so I can like slowly start making my way through those and washing them. Um, random stuff that needs to be put away somewhere. This is a puzzle that Aaron got me for Mother's Day because I really, really love puzzles. Fun fact. Um, these are some new sheets and pillowcases that I just ordered from Amazon. Some new pillows. And that's about it. And then this is the closet in here that I have been cleaning out. It's mostly just like leftover home decor stuff. And then I have some like teaching stuff up there that actually needs to go back to my old school. So obviously we still have a ton more that we need to do to this room before it is anywhere remotely ready for a child. Um, but the first thing is obviously just organizing everything, cleaning out all of the closets and um, making space for all of the things and then we're gonna repaint and obviously move this day bed out of here we're still deciding what we're doing with our guest room situation if we're gonna keep this day bed or if we're gonna go with a different kind of bed potentially a murphy bed we're not really sure i will keep you guys up to date on all of those little home projects and updates that we'll be doing um but yeah i'm at least happy with the amount of like 
sorting I got done the other day. So I think the last little chore I'm gonna do tonight is to just find a place to put all of my teaching stuff where it can stay. I, it'll probably go in one of like the back corners of this closet just because baby is not going to need, I don't think that entire closet, I could be wrong. I am gonna go ahead and end this vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate it if you wanted to comment down below, give it a thumbs up, or if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you wanted to subscribe. It really helps out my channel just whenever you interact with my videos and just helps with the algorithm and YouTube showing it to other people and pushing it out to other people. So I'd really appreciate if you wanted to do any one of those things, that would be awesome. But I hope you're having a great day whenever you are watching this and I will see you guys again soon in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.